We've come to wish you a very happy Thursday, said Pooh, when he had gone in and out once or twice just to make sure that he could get out again. Why, what's going to happen on Thursday? asked Rabbit, and when Pooh had explained and Rabbit, whose life was made up of important things, said, Oh, I thought you'd really come about something. They sat down for a little, and by and by Pooh and Piglet went on again. The wind was behind them now, so they didn't have to shout. Rabbit's clever, said Pooh thoughtfully. Yes, said Piglet, Rabbit's clever. And he has brain. Yes, said Piglet, Rabbit has brain. There was a long silence. I suppose, said Pooh, that that's why he never understands anything. And if clever Rabbit doesn't quite have what it takes, abrasive Eeyore certainly doesn't either. Why not? Because of what we could call the Eeyore attitude. You might say that while Rabbit's little routine is that of knowledge for the sake of being clever, and while Owl's is that of knowledge for the sake of appearing wise, Eeyore's is knowledge for the sake of complaining about something. As anyone who doesn't have it can see, the Eeyore attitude gets in the way of things like wisdom and happiness, and pretty much prevents any sort of real accomplishment in life. Eeyore, the old grey donkey, stood by the side of the stream and looked at himself in the water. Pathetic, he said. That's what it is. Pathetic. He turned and walked slowly down the stream for twenty yards, splashed across it, and walked slowly back on the other side. Then he looked at himself in the water again. As I thought, he said, no better from this side. But nobody minds. Nobody cares. Pathetic. That's what it is. There was a crackling noise in the bracken behind him, and out came Pooh. Good morning, Eeyore, said Pooh. Good morning, Pooh Bear, said Eeyore gloomily. If it is a good morning, he said, which I doubt, said he. Why, what's the matter? Nothing, Pooh Bear, nothing. We can't all, and some of us don't. That's all there is to it. It's not that the Eeyore attitude is necessarily without a certain severe sort of humour. Hello, Eeyore, they called out cheerfully. Ah, said Eeyore, lost your way. We just came to see you, said Piglet, and to see how your house was. Look, Pooh, it's still standing. I know, said Eeyore, very odd. Somebody ought to have come down and pushed it over. We wondered whether the wind would blow it down, said Pooh. Ah, that's why nobody's bothered, I suppose. I thought perhaps they'd forgotten. It's just that it's really not so awfully much fun. Not like a few other points of view we can think of. A little too complex or something. After all, what is it about Pooh that makes him so lovable? Well, to begin with said Pooh. Yes, well, to begin with, we have the principle of the uncarved block. After all, what is the most appealing thing about Pooh? What else but— Well, to begin with— Simplicity. The simplicity of the uncarved block. And the nicest thing about that simplicity is its useful wisdom, the what-is-there-to-eat variety. Wisdom you can get at. 